So, what's going on, guys? Alex here. So, I want to show you, as you probably read the, uh, you know, title of the video, I want to show you an overpowered strategy in Blue Star Defense 5 that you probably haven't known about. I'm sorry, uh, my, my throat might be a little bit, like, whack, or my voice might sound off, because I have allergies, seasonal allergies. But, um... So, yeah, this would work good on a map, like, three times around. Um, maybe even good for bat battles, like, Blue Star Defense battles. By the way, this is, like, one of my favorite games. I've probably never made a video on it, but just to tell you guys, I just I just love this game. So, uh, so, yeah. All right, sorry about that. All right, whatever. Anyway, so, the strategy is cluster bombs and balloon impacts, right? So, you need about... I don't know exactly how many, maybe like five, nah, like like eight. Okay, let's see. That's that's six, seven, eight, eight regular clusters, and then two balloon impacts. I have to restart that because that was not a good placement. All right, so let's get the two balloon impacts. Um, ah, um, there you go. Oh my gosh, why did I get another balloon impact? Because if you get... I mean, you can definitely get these all the balloon impacts, but I don't really think it's needed. And also, it'll cost um, a whole bunch of money that you don't really need. So I'm just getting all these up. By the way, I'm kind of mad at this game because I've lost my progress on BT5 like 10 times. I was like rank, rank over 100 and something. Now I'm ranked 50. I've been playing a lot, though, and I'm going to start making some more videos of just strategies, maybe just games. So now, these eight, right? You could probably get them up by round... Oh, and you're also going to probably want a village, right, for camos. I don't know where I'm going to fit this. All right, whatever. Let's just pretend there's a village there, or maybe I'll take one of these out for the village. There you go. And you can get, like, 2-2 two, two village, just to help it out a little bit. It doesn't cost too much. What is it? Maybe, like, 6,000 it costs. But it really helps out the uh, cannons, and also the upgrades are cheaper. Next thing you want to do is... Yeah, I guess that's fine. Now, watch this. Like, let's say... I don't know. Alright. Look at all these mobs, right? These are just cluster bombs. But they do so good against them. When when I first tested out the strategy, I, I was amazed. And even these can take out a BFB. That that's insane. Like that's really insane. Um and also, not only are they great Moab popping power, but the balloon popping power is what they're really made for. So you got here, let me show you. Regen ceramics. Boom! Even camo ceramics, because we have the village. Oops, I did not mean to send out that BFB. Um, and then, maybe on the later round, you can get the uh, MIB called ARMS. And then, it's just insanity to the next level. You, and and the crazy thing right now is that, if, oops, uh, if you get like two or three more, so look, you need like one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cluster bombs, two impact, balloon impacts. Balloon impacts make, um, basically you're just for the, um, you know, the, the thing, the black balloons and the zebras. But, um, after that, um, all you have to do is get, like, two more on round 85. And then this, oh my god, is pretty much taken care of. Like, if you're playing on hard, this is probably one of the best strategies I've ever seen. Alright, and then, all you have to do is use the call to arms ability. And look at this, look at how fast they're beating this, oh my god. This is a regular, oh my god. Okay? And these cluster bombs are taking it out. That's because they do, I think, nine explosions. So, a couple of you might have been familiar with this strategy already. But, you know, I just wanted to make a video on it. Because it just seems so cool to me. And then you use this again, and boom, you just beat round 85, whatever it is. And also, um... One of the trouble rounds, you guys probably, I don't know, maybe you guys have trouble with it too, is round 80 when all those mobs come out. You're fine with that. 
Look at this. Look at all of these mobs. I think they might be able to be infinite mobs. Don't quote me on that. But I think so. Let me check. I'll just slow this down. I mean, I mean, it looks like it. They're, they're not having any trouble. And also, a hard round would be 76, where all those ceramics come out. So you got all those ceramics. Let's just pretend there's a lot more. Um, and another thing that these would be really good for would be regen rainbow rushes on early rounds. So maybe like a blue impact and like two of these, um, um, you know, what are these called? Just these cluster bombs, right? You have two of these. How much does this cost? This costed about maybe, let's see, about 10000 right? But it has the power of 20000 maybe even thirty for that matter. And also, they're probably able to take out a Moab. Let's see. Let's see right now. None of this. Okay. Now, let's see. These three. Can they take out a Moab? I mean, I know this is an easier map, but they, I, don't, I just want to test it. Uh, on, on a harder map, it looks like we need three. Anyway, but on a map where you get a lot of popping power from your towers... Like, the strategy is just amazing. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's just a quick little video showing that little strategy. Uh, maybe later I'll make another video on... Maybe I'll just play some rounds or something. Alright, anyway. Um, so, I'll see you guys later. Hope you have an awesome day today. And, uh, yeah. Peace.